you hit one in the first half, it'll be Shoffley. The Shoffley Shuffle gets in. Megan Shoffley, number four, point guard, communications, and I'm proud to be a Dino. Megan Cole was rolling down the lane. What an interception, like a defensive back to Mara Jarrett. And here comes Shoffley the other way. Puts it behind her back, looking to put the moves on Crone. Uh, well, I grew up just outside of Vancouver and Delta. I had two older siblings, and we were all very competitive, athletic people. So I'd be out there at like five with my brother. He was like six, years, seven years older than me, so he'd always be forced to let me be included in all of the games with the neighborhood boys. So I was always playing like hockey and basketball, and I just fell in love with basketball ever since I was like in grade two. And then I had an awesome uh, elementary school teacher who really taught me a lot, and from then on it just yeah, I kept playing. Chamberlain off the mark, here comes Shoffley, gets into the middle of the court. Dino Pride to me is just the whole culture of the university, all of the athletic programs together. I find the last couple of years we've really built a relationship with all the different teams. And it's just a really cool thing to be a part of, and I've enjoyed every minute of it. Yeah, we've definitely put in the work all the way from end of August when we first met. Uh, Damien had us doing some tough uh, things physically, but now it's really making a difference as we come near the end of the season. So it's benefited us for sure. Yeah, it's very different. I remember coming in as a rookie being terrified of fifth years and I just kind of kept to myself. But as you grow, obviously you, especially being a fifth year, I realize automatically like you're already in a leadership position to all the newcomers coming in. So I just, I just embraced it. I, I just like to be someone that's approachable, easy to talk to, and I just like to be there for people if they have to vent, or and encouraging and positive, and just kind of take it easy and be a bit more chill and relaxed about it. So, uh, Damien has done a phenomenal job in my eyes. I, everyone went into this having no expectations, no one had any idea of what was gonna happen, but he came in here and definitely it was a leader for sure and just showed us what it takes to win and I've, I've enjoyed uh, having him as a coach this season and I've learned a lot from him and he's really taught us how to improve our basketball IQ and just how to see the floor better and I'm very thankful for him to have filled that position. What it showed us, it was cool like actually going to the Nationals and seeing the whole experience. Like We've never really realized how like, much goes into it so it was really neat being a part of that with the banquet and everyone staying in the hotel together and just the atmosphere was phenomenal. Like I can't even explain to you. The, the students and the athletes and the families and the parents and all the supporters were incredible. Like it was one of the coolest environments I've ever played in and that definitely showed us like this is what we could do every single year if we just work towards it. We could be the, in this position every single year. So it was really cool. This year I found we've really clicked. Like there'll be days obviously we get a bit uh, competitive in practice but everything's kept on the court, off the court. I find we really get along well. It's I've never really been a part of a team that clicks this well together. And we all are friends, we all hang out, we all have fun together, so it just it's been a great experience so far this year. I've just I've really enjoyed everything about Calgary. I was a bit hesitant at first, nervous because I'm grew up in Vancouver my whole life, but I've just grown to love the city and the team every year has been great. I've made some long like longtime friends that I'll keep in touch for forever and it's going to be sad to leave for sure. I haven't really quite thought about it. I try to keep it out of my brain, unless I use it for motivation. But yeah, it's been, it's been pretty sweet.